Welcome to Tony's Tractor Adventure. Well, good morning and welcome back. You can see here where I've uh, cut down the trees the other day and I got most of it sawed up and uh, I got most of it uh, put away all the big pieces of wood. I got all the limbs left. And right after I started uh, uh, trying to clean up some of these limbs out here, uh, we got a torrential rain and it had rained for several days. And today's first day it's been dry enough that I can get in my front yard without marring the tractor up to the front axles. So my neighbors will probably be pleased for me to uh, get this uh, mess out of my front yard. And then we'll go about digging up the uh, stumps. I have my trailer set up so that I can uh, bring the brush over and put it on the, on the trailer. And I built some little rails on the side of the uh, uh, trailer that can be pulled in and out. So I can carry brush and you know things that are maybe easily slide off of the side uh, on this trailer, and it got me to thinking that I could uh, you know make some uh, uh, something for the front of the tractor, so when I uh, use the forks, they would not hang up. These are the Titan attachments uh, forks I got off of Amazon, and there's a little slot for a uh, basically a two by three to slide down into, and. I thought about putting something across from one side to the other and then I thought you know that that's just going to be something more for the limbs and stuff to hang up on so I'm going to use the old army adage kiss keep it simple stupid so I put uh, I cut two identical length uh, pieces of two by three in the front of this and we're going to see how well it does loading uh, loading this up and uh, dumping without getting hung up on the bucket the problem was prior to this is that if you loaded up the bucket with uh, limbs and stuff with the forks they with the some of the limbs would hang over uh, the back side of this and when you went to dump it it would hang up and you'd just be struggling there uh, trying to get all that untangled so I think this is probably going to work better and you know it would be nice to have a bigger tractor with a grappler but you know this is just a very uh, seldom thing that I do I got the sideboards on and as you can see from the last time that I tried to dump I didn't quite have enough height so I'm going to try it with the sideboards on so I can rake my uh, uh, forks back across the top of these little sideboards hopefully with not time tearing the sideboards up we'll see
got that one cleaned up I have a small pile over here and then I got a little bit larger pile in the background that's a much bigger tree and uh, we'll get this all wrapped up and uh, carry it to the dump that's one thing I want to caution you about it's just things we don't think about ever every day I uh, uh, on the previous trailer I had out a utility trailer and it had rails on the side that were metal and we were doing some serious cleaning here when we bought the this house and we pulled up a bunch of trees and shrubs that were turned into trees and uh, you know we had a big big pile of stuff and I started putting it on the trailer with the utility trailer or the last tractor and I went ahead and took the bucket and pressed it down into the trailer and I kept putting more and more on it and pressing more and more in there and that is great you can get a lot on there until you get to the dump and then you realize that all of that stuff is woven together and it takes you two or three hours to get it off the trailer because it's like a jigsaw puzzle or uh, just a bunch of woven tree limbs so take that into consideration when you do this I've worked around heavy equipment all of my life and you know I never really had to worry about stuff like that we had dump trucks and when you have just a utility trailer uh, you got to think about things like that like don't compress your load because it's if you got to take it out by hand uh, you definitely don't want to compress your load.